Improper vacuuming is a major contributor to poor indoor air quality. In fact, the Environmental Protection Agency estimates that in some instances, indoor pollution levels may be higher than outdoor. Indoor air pollution can be harmful since many people are allergic to dust mites and fungi found in dust. To improve indoor air quality, you must use high-efficiency particulate air vacuums, also known as HEPA vacuums, and extractors that meet the Carpet and Rug Institute Green Label Program. Whenever possible, use vacuums that are ergonomically designed such as a backpack or seated vacuums. HEPA vacuums retain microscopic particles so they don't get back into the air. When cleaning carpets, it's vital to reduce your exposure to dust. To do that, wear protective equipment like a dust mask and increase ventilation by opening windows and doors before vacuuming or extracting. Also, check the filter and vacuum bags regularly. Clean or replace filters and replace bags when they are half full. These easy practices will all reduce your exposure to dust and microbes. Vacuum heavy traffic areas once a day and light traffic areas once or twice a week. Nearly 90% of carpet debris is dry and can be picked up through vacuuming. The remaining 10% can be cleaned through periodic spot cleaning or through the use of a carpet bonnet. Make sure that carpet bonnet remains wet while in use. This is only necessary for carpet areas that are extremely dirty or high traffic areas. Both spot cleaning and bonnet scrubbing should be conducted with green products and according to manufacturer's directions. Conduct restorative extraction only when absolutely necessary. Maximize water extracted from the carpet to reduce moisture and the growth of potential mold, mildew, and bacteria. When possible, choose a truck-mounted extractor versus portable extractor. Following these green practices and using green products is healthier for you, your clients, and the environment.